No outono de 2005, ele ajudou a inaugurar a Disneylândia de Hong Kong. Walt adorava seus parques temáticos porque, como ele dizia, nunca seriam concluídos, estariam em constante evolução, aperfeiçoamento e expansão. Uma das atrações mais ambiciosas do momento é a Expedition Everest, cuja torre de aço se eleva a 60 metros acima do Animal Kingdom, 15 metros mais alta do que a Árvore da Vida e 3 metros mais alta do que o Castelo da Cinderela. A Expedition Everest vai abrigar uma montanha russa dentro da montanha e fazer parte da longa lista de montanhas russas dentro de montanhas da Disney. A Space Mountain é a mais famosa, mas a primeira foi a Matterhorn na Disneylandia. Na verdade, a Matterhorn foi um marco das montanhas russas quando foi inaugurada em 1959. Roller coasters originally were always made of wood and it would have flat steel plates attached to the top of the wood and to the sides of the wood. This had to go inside a Matterhorn mountain. There was no way to do the conventional woodwork. What's the easiest thing to bend? Well, you know, you can bend electrical conduit pretty simple. They figured you could take pipe. You could bend pipe and then you could weld it together with ties between the, the rails. It was nothing more than a simple expedient of how to get this done easy. Voila, they accidentally invented the first of, of that type of roller coaster. Desde então, quase todas as montanhas russas são feitas de aço moldado, o que permite curvas mais fechadas e maior velocidade. A Expedition Everest será construída do mesmo modo, mas em escala maior. The roller coaster is a traditional gravity roller coaster. It uses a chain lift and very, very large motors to lift the train to the top of the mountain, where gravity then takes over, and, and we have all the stored energy of, of a train full of passengers at 100 feet in the air, and the amount of energy that that large mass has at that height. Criar uma montanha que abrigue uma atração tão grande não é tarefa fácil. The mountain is a complicated structure. On the outside, it looks like a mountain. That's very nice. But in fact, it's three independent architectural systems. There is a rigid system, which holds up the concrete of the mountain and is, by definition, absolutely rigid. There is a flexible, dynamic system, which is the ride track, which, because this multi-ton vehicle is moving on it, that ride track has to move. But it can never touch the mountain. Those two systems can't touch each other, but they have to be built simultaneously, so the steel of one is actually penetrating through the steel of the other, and if you put one little piece of steel in at the wrong time, you've stopped your entire construction process. We poured a very, very large mat foundation over an acre of concrete over three feet thick to spread the load of both of those two structures, and then we began the construction of the roller coaster and the exoskeleton, the mountain static structure, at the same time. Para complicar as coisas, surge o pé grande gigante, o guardião mítico das montanhas. The Yeti is so big that the Yeti is sitting on his own independent architectural structure that goes all the way to the footings of the building and cannot touch either the ride structure or the existing architectural structure of the mountain. And all of these things had to be simultaneously constructed because they're all big and you can't put one in after you've built the other one. A Matterhorn da Disneylandia também possui um pé grande, mas o da Expedition Everest será maior e mais assustador. Por enquanto, ele é um segredo guardado a sete chaves. Our Yeti is gritty, real Yeti, with, you know, slobber and wet legs from walking in out of the snow and matted dreadlock hair and, you know, a real animal. An animal that you see for a very brief moment, but when you see it, you think, wow, was that really real? Quando as estruturas da Expedition Everest estiverem montadas, os operários iniciarão o trabalho nas rochas. No entanto, do mesmo modo que ocorre na árvore da vida, as rochas não são verdadeiras. The mountain structure is covered with over five acres of themed carved rockwork. The matrix of plaster that's carved to replicate as closely as possible the geological rock forms that you'd find in the Himalayas. 
From here, we're actually seeing some of the scaffolding on the exterior of the mountain. That scaffolding is used to provide access to the workers to install the lath, which is the matrix that the plaster is, is applied to, uh, and then carve that plaster and then finally paint it. Thousands and thousands of construction workers from Central Florida working on the project, uh, and it's like uh, 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 conducting an orchestra. Após três anos de construção, a montanha finalmente será concluída e a Expedition Everest será aberta ao público. Na Disney, dizem que uma boa ideia não pode ser desperdiçada e a Expedition Everest parece confirmar isso. É outra expansão do conceito de parques temáticos que o Walt revelou na Disneyland. Muito aconteceu nessas quatro décadas, desde que o Walt Disney fez o primeiro esboço de sua ideia para o maior e mais ambicioso projeto já existente. O Walt Disney World é enorme e complexo, tanto em sua visão como nas operações do dia a dia. Não é exatamente o que o Walt descreveu ao mundo quando revelou o segredo de seu misterioso projeto Flórida. Mas é o mais próximo da realização do sonho mais mágico e incrível de Walt Disney.